Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you two different methods that you can use to effectively debug your code in Unreal Engine. The first method is with something called breakpoints. I'll show you what it is now. So if I just open up my third person character, I've made this simple code. When I press the one button, I'm going to generate a random integer within the range of zero to 10. If the value of this is greater than four, then I'm going to make my player character play an animation. And what I can do is I can add a breakpoint in my code and it's basically going to pause my game when I reach that specific point. So if I just right click on this branch, I'm going to go add breakpoint. And it's going to add this little red dot. And now when I just play my game, when I press the one button, we can sometimes people message me saying um, their code's not working. Although by adding a breakpoint, you can actually check to see that it's going to a specific node. If say I added a breakpoint and when I press the one button, it didn't take me here. That basically means it's not going to that code. So you can basically confirm that Unreal Engine is running your nodes when you're using a breakpoint. And then with a breakpoint, you can check to see what happens after. So I can just click this little um, step to the next node and then it'll basically show me the next node which will play. And if I want, I can resume. So if I just click this continue, then it's just gonna continue where my game left off. Another thing with breakpoints is you can analyze what's happening during a breakpoint. So Unreal Engine has this debug window. If I just select here, I can open the debug window. I'm just going to click Blueprint Debug. And what I can do is I can basically check the value of this when um, my player character presses the one button. So if I just right click here and go watch this value, then I'm just going to play my game again. When I press the one button, if I open up my debug money, so here it is, I can check the value of this is seven. Another way to check the value without opening the debug um, window is I can easily just hover here and then it'll show me the value of this is 7. So it'll tell me the value of this at runtime. And this could be helpful to check what value your variable has when you're playing it in your game. I'm just going to stop this and then to remove a breakpoint, we can just right click and go remove breakpoint. And that's the first way that I like to debug my code. So you can use breakpoints to basically check to see that your nodes are running and you can also check to see the value of variables at runtime when you're using a breakpoint. The next way you can debug your projects is by using print string. So I use this all the time just to check that um, nodes are firing. You can also use print string to check the value of variables at runtime again. So you can add print strings anywhere, but in this example, I'm just gonna right click and look for event tick. And then I'm just gonna drop here and look for print string. And then I created this um, Boolean variable I'm just going to drag it, get it, and connect this into here. And I've just created this simple code. When I press the 2 key, um, it's going to turn the Boolean variable to be true. When I press it again, then it's going to turn the Boolean variable to be false. And event tick, I'm going to be able to see this. So if I just compile this and I go play, I can see the value of this variable. It's false. If I press 2, then I'll be true again. So you can add print strings anywhere. Although, if say you're adding a print string like this, there are a lot of print strings on the screen and it's kind of taking up a lot of space. There's a much more efficient way which we can use. So if I just click here and expand, what I can do is add a key to this print string. So I'm just gonna call this boolean. And then I'm just gonna go compile. And I'm just gonna go play. And as we can see, it's print shrinking, although it's not taking up the whole screen. It's just taking up one line and it's a lot easier to see. So you can just add some categories to your print strings in order to make them more organized. And there's actually one more thing we can do to make our print string debugs a lot more efficient. So if I just close this, and then inside my Blueprint folder, I'm going to right click, and I'm just going to go to Blueprint, and I'm just going to set the Blueprint function library, and I'll call this the BP underscore master print string. Open it up, and then inside here, create a new function, and just call this the debug print string. Drag off here, and look for print string just expand this and then connect from the in string into here from the duration into here and from the key into here and from the text color into here then just create a new variable and just call this show print string drag this in get it and make this a branch connect from here into here and from true into here and then another thing we just want to select the text color go over here and just make the default color um, blue 
then go OK, then go Compile. And now, if I go over to my third person character, instead of using the normal print string, we can just drag up here and look for the debug print string. I'll just connect this into here. And then I'm just going to specify a key. So I'll call it example. And then for the duration, let's make this two. And then go compile. And then what we can do is just go to this show print string and make sure it's checked. Then go compile. And now that I play my game, I'm going to be able to see my master print string. And the advantage of basically making this separate and having it like this is inside of your game when you're developing it, you may add print strings all over the place. Although when it comes time to shipping your game, you may want to disable all of the print strings at once. By using this master print string, you can easily place print strings all over your project. And then when you finish development of your project, what you can do is you can just uncheck this show print string. And now you'll have no print strings in your project. So you just use this at the start of a project. It'll make it a lot more easier to debug. And then if say you want to turn on the debug again, you can easily just check the show print string. Then you'll be able to see all of your debug across the whole of your project. So those are two effective ways that you can basically use to debug your Unreal Engine projects. That's all for this video. Hopefully you found it valuable and helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.